Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to How to Take Off Your Mask. I first learned of this game through Dodger, or sorry, Dexterity Bonus or Press Heart to Continue, whichever channel she uses. It's an interesting game. It does have gameplay. I have confirmed that. <laughs> so, here we are. Let me take a quick look at the achievements here. Clear the prologue. Oh, right, offline mode. Durr. Kinda can't do that. Okay, well... So, either way, <laughs> this is the test episode, so we are going to find out just how much this game is worth to any of you. Now, as far as I'm aware, it's not exactly the longest game, but I still kind of want to see where it goes in, as a story in general. So, let's continue. As always, with the pilots of visual novels, it will not be the exact same as an official Let's Play. This will be kind of a speedrun mode thing, where I read everything aloud, go on fast, 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 fast. Speaking of which... That's not it. Config. Can we shut this game up? Shut up! Voice setting. Shut up. God, that is so loud. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, let us begin with How to Take Off Your Mask. This is a game about basically a weird cat. We will understand that shortly. And it's kind of a romancy visual novel. Well, let's start with the prologue, clearly. Enter your name. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Let's go with not aware cat because know what know what know what. Let's go with Ace Pilot. Her name is Ace Pilot because we can. Why? How come? Just why? How could I have turned into this? Yeah, what the fuck? Calm down. Let's try to remember what happened yesterday. Dot dot dot. Oh my god, it's so loud! Opening cutscene! Yeah! Ronin. Because he's a samurai with no master. what I've said. This is a romance visual novel. Bear that in mind. It's kind of short if I can't remember. Or if I, if I remember correctly what I'm trying to say. I hope you people can hear me. It all started early yesterday morning. Oh my god, you're a mooch! Hey, 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 hey! Don't yell so loud. Stop being annoying. We're not even ready to open yet. Go away and quit eating our food. Oh, calm down. Just think of it as a challenge. Clearly annoyed. Oh my god! You have no time to be dilly dallying, young lady. Focus on your work. Hits with a ruler. You didn't have to hit me with a newspaper. <laughs> Ta-da! I said ruler instead of newspaper. It's the same basic thing. Would you rather I have used something else? Like a ruler. <laughs> Please let me continue my work. My name is Ace Pilot. <laughs> I'm a baker. Who was born and raised in the city of... Lizera. Capital of Erolia. I think it's made up. My parents went MIA a couple of years ago, missing in action. But I'm not alone, thanks to Grandma and my childhood friend, Ronan. Julie. Hey, didn't you forget about me? As she clearly talks out loud. What? It's nothing. 
Hey, I still haven't seen you Ronin yet. He doesn't plan on skipping today, does he? You're scaring me, Ace Pilot. Isn't that just you? Sorry, I'm late! You're really late. Didn't you remember the spice? Did, 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 did. Oh, that's right. My bad. Here, these. Here, go. Bye. <laughs> Put them there. My hands are full right now. I've got this weird pink haired dude with it that looks like he's from the 1970s. Got it. On the table. There. Yes. Go. Bye. Whoa. Splat. Ah. Jeez. <laughs> Pilot's angry. Okay, okay, okay. Stop crying. Are you hurt? I'm fine, sorry, but the bag didn't rip, so the stuff's okay, yeah? Of course, you would have to replace them if it wasn't. <laughs> You're as strict as always, pilot. Yes, I am. So please pay for everything you've eaten already. What are you saying? Don't you think it's inappropriate for a beautiful guy like me to pay for anything? Whatever. Just give me that money. Julie sweats. Enough! Go back to work! Silence. Okay. Also, please check on the cool girl. It isn't doing well. The what? The Kool-Aid girl? I'm sorry? I wanted to know what was up with this moocher. Why is he here? He comes here every morning, eats breakfast, and then he goes away. And he doesn't pay anything. And Grandma, as strict as he was, has never once shooed him away or anything. She must have her reasons, but I must know why. I took a look at the cool girl on the table. Why do you have a Kool-Aid girl? Oh. That. Gotcha. So basically, meet the air conditioning system. So this is the air conditioning in their world, called the cool girl. Did I make it too cold? I better raise the temperature a bit. Pilot, I have finished clearing out the stock for today. Is that good? God, you are fast. Yes, nicely done. Good boy. <laughs> good boy, good boy. <laughs> she raised me. Don't let it go to your head. Hmm. What? Oh, nothing. Just wondering how long it will take for you two to keep acting like that and not, you know... Make out or something. Ordin's a young man. It's natural for him to have one or two girls he likes. He's not at that stage yet. I'm all he needs for now. It's too dangerous for him to be hanging around suspicious women. <laughs> oh, good lord. You're being so overprotective. It's not about being overpro. Ace Pilot, I cut my finger! Save me! He's like, what? Why? Why? Why the knife? What? I take it back. Ronan does, indeed, need your help. <laughs> Stop watching others. You should return to your own work. Go away. At least give me time to relax. Please? Hopeless man, go away. <laughs> what? Sorry, this late? Sorry, gotta go, bye! Foo, out the door. Hey, you've been quite busy lately. Isn't the stock job just delivering things? Should I speak with the shop's owner? No, 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 don't come, no! Why not? Uh, uh, because... Gotta go! The stock shop, it reeks of sweat! No shit, you're, sw you're sweating like crazy right now, just stressing out. It does? That might affect product quality. Should we change our supplier? No, 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 no. I keep control of the quality, so it's no problem. Just, no, just don't go there. No. Send me a message to my phone if something happens. I think that's their phone. I think a Tucson is a phone. Tucson. A dual converts. Okay, so it is a phone. Well then. It's a new invention from the castle, but I'm not too familiar with this cell phone thing yet. It would be better to have a portable calling device, but I can't expect too much. Wait, so it only does text messages? Really? Okay, well, off. Bye. 
Be ready. We're opening now. You're a time machine. I think that's how you pronounce it. Our bread is fresh from the oven. Quite literally. It always smells wonderful. Everything looks delicious. What am I scratching on on my freaking keyboard? Thank you. I'm so happy when the customers like me. By the way, have you heard the recent fuss? What? What fuss? You mean the Exile Lucretius movement? That's what they keep calling this movement to drive all the cat humans out of the city. Lucretia. White skin, cat ears, and tails. Oh my god. They're vampire werecats. <laughs> no one knew if they were humans with feline features or some other creature entirely. I've never met one, so it sounds unreal to me. Do they really exist? It's Pilot! Yes! What do you want? Advocates of Elm haven't been seen around here, so it might not relate to you, but be careful. Yes, cute girls like you might catch a bad guy's eye. Uh... I'm sorry? <laughs> I'll be okay. The only guy that's interested in me and Ro is Ronan anyway. Ha 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 ha! It's a relief to have such a cute knight. They're not referring to me. Knight? Uh... Is this bread what you want? Yes, please. Knight, huh? He seems more like a helpless puppy to me. They're referring to Ronan, not me. The elm might be dangerous. Oh yes, the elm tree outside might be dangerous. It might be a tree hunt in disguise. But it's not my concern, since it has nothing to do with me. Thank you very much. Huh. <sighs> so it's finally time to close. Huh? What's up, pilot? Oh, did you finish work already? Yeah, I was wondering what you were doing. So I came back. You, of all people, are worried about me. Ha 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 ha. Don't make fun of me. Oh, sure. It's just... Young people these days are so passionate. How can they do that in this heat? I'm sorry, Mr. Rude Person. Hmm? Huh. Could you be... A woman's voice. It can't be Ronan's. Never mind, then. I'm here. See? What? Oh, shit. Who's that? There's a cat. I see. So you do hear me. Who are you and why are you talking to me? Ah! Girly scream noises! Pilot, what's wrong? The cat! The cat is talking to me! What? She's what? Meow. Uh, are you okay, Pilot? Are you tired from work? Foolish girl. A normal human couldn't possibly know what I'm saying. Oh my god! Dr. Doolittle moment! What does that mean? That I'm not normal? Let's just go inside. Yeah, that's probably best. I must warn you. Tomorrow, your world is doomed. <laughs> hmm. Grandma, I don't think Pilot's feeling too well. Hmm. A cat. It talked to me. But no one else could hear it. Isn't it strange? Cats can't talk. Am I that exhausted? That must be it. You work too much, eh, pilot. She's like, hmm. Grandma, why won't you talk to me? Pilot, go to bed. Go to bed right now, and don't come out. What? What makes you say all that? Is he really that sick? It's simply a symptom of a cold. You can leave now. Go away. But... Away! I'll contact you later using that weird texting machine. Won't that work? Uh, I guess so. Be careful, pilot. But, but, I... You go back to bed now. Okay. Oh, oh.
All right, why, 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 why? Oh, 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 aha. Gamma's over overreacting. This is nothing serious. A talking cat? I was being delusional. I'd better go to sleep then. Da, 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 da. Five days later. <laughs> nothing was wrong until then. But I never thought that it would be like that when I woke up. Mmm. Morning, ya. What? What is this, ya? I'm speaking normally, but what is with it coming out of the ya thing? I should get out of bed first. Ugh. But as I reached to grab the blanket, my hands were really tiny and white. And maybe it was just me, but there were things attached to my butt and head that shouldn't be there. No, it cannot be. I could imagine what happened inside my head, but I couldn't accept it. Why? How is this possible? I approached the mirror very nervously. Oh my god, it's a cat girl. Achievement unlocked! What? How? Wait. I'm a 13 year old girl. More of her cat tails and ears and things. This is not me. Pilot, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm okay, yeah. Uh. Pilot, what did you say just now? It's bad. Can't let her see me like this. No, need to escape. Now! Rumble, 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 rumble. Pilot, I'm opening the door now. Pilot? Huh, I escaped through the window. But what now? I'm not a ninja. So I really... Became a cat girl. End of prologue. Well, that was short. That was very, very short. What should I do? What should I do? Huh? 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 Yeah! Splat. Huh? Ow, yeah. Ouch. What's that? Tail? Yeah? I stared at the man who was lying down underneath me. What? It couldn't be. No matter how I looked at him, he was Ronan. But Ronan I know doesn't wear a uniform. No! Quickly turned around and ran away. Right into a big buff dude. Hello, I'm Russian guy. That hurt. <laughs> Big bro! That's okay, the little miss has fainted. What should we do? Huh. <sighs> Five seconds later. My name is Pilot. I'm a baker and I live happily every day. Really? Aren't you just a Lucretia? You're not, Pilot. My granddaughter doesn't have a tail. What? What? Hey, kitty. Won't you be my pet? <laughs> no! Huh? Where am I? Hey, you awake now? Oh my god! Calm down. It's safe here. By the way, why were you outside wearing only pajamas? I was... I panicked and didn't have a chance to think. Or change clothes. Are you afraid of me? Huh? My name is Roden. I'm one of the people who guard this city. Don't worry. I guarantee your safety. I was surprised since I haven't seen a Lucretia in a while. Have you been hiding hiding until now? It, it's not like that. Yeah. I wasn't like this before. Yeah. Is he really Ronan? His demeanor is completely different. 
Hm? Ja? I'm not speaking like this on purpose, ja. I don't know why. Ja. <laughs> Has little miss woken up yet? Oh my god, who's this big fishy Russian guy? <sighs> I'm not a monster, you know. Just Russian. My name is Mars. Mars Foreign. Call me Big Bro. And who are you, little miss? Big Bro? Why? Don't think about it too much. It's just a thing. Huh. <sighs> I better not ask any more about that, then. My name is... Blah. No. Katie, because it sounds kind of like Kitty. Her name is Katie. Done. <laughs> Katie, nya. Er, where are we, nya? <laughs> I see. So she's the nya type. I haven't seen that kind of location in a while. Nya type? How loquacious speak depend on the individual. Some of them speak normally, like humans, but others say nya or mya at the end of their sentences. There are many variations. Hmm. How do you two know each other, nya? <laughs> oh, he's like a big brother to the entire city. You fainted and we didn't have any cho choice but to bring you here. To his house. So, won't you tell us what happened? It's rare to have a Lucretia appear in the, city, in the city during the day. Could it be that you've just awakened? Uh... Uh, hmm? Relax and try to speak slowly while I stare deeply into your faces from six inches away. He pat my head gently. It was surprising that I didn't hate him treating me like this. I found myself like this when I woke up, nya. There's nothing wrong with yesterday, nya. <laughs> I was shocked and scared, nya. I feel like I'm not myself, nya. <laughs> That's fun to do. I didn't want my family to talk like this, so I jumped out the window. Yeah. I was a normal human yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that now. How could a human turn into a location? I see. So your family didn't tell you then. And it made you panic. Tell me what. What do you mean, bro? There are a lot of cases like this. Families who refuse to tell their half-blooded children that they have Lucretia blood inside them. Hoping that this awakening here does not happen. Half-bloods. Awakening. So you don't know about that either? A child born between a human and a Lucretia, which yes, is a thing, will spend, ten like, will spend time like other humans at first. But one day, something will trigger them to turn into the Lucretia. A lot of families can't accept that fact and choose to hide it. Like your family. So even if they think they suddenly transformed into Lucretias, it's actually because they're half-bloods? Indeed. Not to mention a Lucretia body and a human body are quite different. You must have had quite the shock. I'm a uh, half-blood? Again, I'm skipping the Ninja parts from now on because I think I'm annoying you people with it. I can't believe it. Cry or get angry. Hmm. Fuck it, let's cry over it because we can. boo hoo 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 <laughs> I cried loudly. Normally I would have never cried like this in front of the others, but... Hey. He approached me once again, and patted me on the head again. I would push him off the moment he touched me, but now I just want him to comfort me. He didn't say a word and hugged. What are you? Calm down, it's okay. Even though he said so, I knew it wasn't okay. But somehow it relieved me. Have you calmed down now? Hmm. Say thank you. Yay, love up. Thank you. Good girl, good girl. <laughs> it's like we switched places. Hey, guys. Mars, hurry and come down here. Okay, okay. Sorry, I need to leave for a moment. Upon a closer look, he seems like a ronin, but also not like a ronin at the same time. <laughs> hey, why are you staring at me like that? Don't answer. Don't answer! <coughs> Nothing, yawn! Oh wait, I said, <laughs> God damn it! Don't be sulky. Ronin is never this nosy. And that uniform. So you're a city guard, right? 
Yes, I just finished my morning patrol. Salute. And I was going to a friend's house. That's when I saw you fall down. Are you okay? Did you get hurt? You should worry about yourself more than me. You haven't contacted your family yet, have you? Well... What will Grandma say if she sees me like this? I can't accept that one of my parents is still a little Kratia. Hmm. You still can't believe it? It's true that I don't know much about my parents. Nyan. Ah, duh. But a Lucretia? You're getting tense again. He caressed my chin gently. Because he thinks that I'm a cat now. No, that tickles. Wait, don't treat me like that. Sorry. Don't be afraid. Everything you, everything should be okay after you speak with your family. His smiling face was the same as Ronan's. It makes me wonder if they're twin brothers. <laughs> Hi, bro. I'm here to watch the porno scene. I heard there were cat girls in here. <laughs> he just he just strolled in there, just like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> so creepy. Seems that your spring has finally arrived, brother. Wait, what? What do you mean, your spring? What does that mean? You don't mean that, do you? Mom asked you all to calm down. She wants to see the cute little girl. I didn't think this was the kind of girl you were into. Oh my god, it is what he meant. Oh my god. It's not like that. It's not like that at all. Sure it's not. Either way, follow me. Hmm... <laughs> What? Well... Hey, I'm in your face again! He gave me his hand. Ah, What is with this guy? It's not like me. Yet... I couldn't refuse. I couldn't hate him. It was so bizarre. Down the stairs we go. Hey, look, there's one of those little Kool-Aid girls again. What the fuck is this? Is that colored popcorn dispensers? What the fuck? I went down and found... Microwaves! Why? Flour, eggs, could it be that this place is where Ronan works? Sorry, it's kind of a mess. As you can see, my house is a shop that sells cooking materials. So this is that sweatshop. <laughs> Sweaty? Who dares? Hey, you shouldn't say that. Hmm? I feel like I've heard someone say that before. You didn't just hear it. You said that yourself. <laughs> but that means this Ronin is the Ronin I know. I'm sorry. I just remembered an acquaintance of mine talking about this place like that. Where is he? I'll kill him. So, do you work here? I just noticed the glitter! I just now noticed the glitter! Why did it take me till now to notice the glitter? Meanwhile, this guy's trying to laugh at us. Get him. Do I look like an employee? No, you look like a bodybuilder. Not at all. I wouldn't be nearly as busy if this stupid son of mine helped me out. <laughs> Mom! Are you okay now? I was really surprised since I haven't seen a human with a cat with cat ears. Or what? She's not a human with cat ears. She's a were cat, or a cat girl. That is a human with cat ears. You knucklehead. That's too much of a mouthful. And that outfit. Why doesn't she wear my old clothes? What? Uh, sorry, I forgot to give them to her. Hold on. Of course you did. Dear, please go and change. That that that's okay. Thank you for today. Excuse me. Bye. Nope. <laughs> Wait, it's dangerous. I'll walk you home. Tee hee 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 hee. No need, Mia. I quickly ran away without giving him a chance to respond. Run away! Yep, definitely a cat. <laughs> Are all the like her? Who knows? Scene chains. Huh, I managed to get here without anyone seeing me. But what should I say to Grandma? Half-blood. Is that true? Come inside. 
Okay. We're screwed. We're busted. Awkward. I told you not to go out. Why didn't you listen to me? Huh? <laughs> or perhaps you didn't want me to know. You, you, you know? Of course I know. You silly girl, you're my granddaughter. Grandma. Hug. You're overreacting. So you knew that mom or dad might have been a Lucretia and yawn. Who told you that? Someone who seems to be a nice guy. I see. What do you think? That your mother, my daughter, couldn't have been a Lucretia. Oh, so is dad then. Hmm. I wonder how long it's been. My daughter, Arya, found a man collapsed in front of the shop and took care of him. Was that Dad? I didn't imagine that he was Lucretia at first. She must have felt the same. It was too late when I found out. They were already madly in love. <gasps> I'm not saying that Lucretias are bad. However, it's a fact that many don't think kindly of them. I warned her that it would be hard, but she insisted that she wouldn't be happy without him. Grandma, do you still hate Dad? I couldn't say. More importantly, how can I turn back to normal? If my memory is correct, you'll need something to trigger it. To trigger it? And what is that? It can be anything. What was Dad's trigger? Whenever he got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> what? That's annoying. I don't want to hurt myself. We have no choice but to try everything we can. Uh, after about five tests later. Yeah, that doesn't work either. That hurt. Don't hit me with the newspaper. Picking sugar cubes, shouting transform, <laughs> taking a bath, nothing works. <laughs> Yelling transform. Thinking of, think of more things before trying to complain. Uh, excuse me! Oh my god, his voice. No, not him! I'm sorry, some things came up and... Get out! <laughs> As he gets knocked out cold. Oh, he stumbled and fell face first into the floor. Dropping the wheat flour everywhere. Ah, 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 achoo! Whoa, I can't see anything. Pilot? You'll have to compensate for this, obviously. Uh, Pilot, she better yet? Don't worry about her. I'll let you clean the shop. <laughs> okay. Uh. <sighs> that was too close. Still, I never thought that I would turn back by sneezing. I found the trick now. I should be able to hide this from him. Speaking of which, the man I met today, is he Ronan? I'm sure he doesn't have a twin. Or does he? I'd better sleep now. It's morning! Looked at my hands. Good, they're not pink. Or white, or whatever. I'm not a vampiric werecat yet. I managed to stay normal. Huh. Okay, time to get back to work. You've been noisy since this morning. Good morning! I'll be ready soon. Pilot! Ah! He ran into me as fast as a speeding bullet and tackled me to the floor. Are you okay now? How do you feel? Sorry for not, sorry for not being able to see you. <laughs> I feel worse than ever because you just crashed into me. Now get off! God, she's like Jekyll and Hyde. Huh. Pilot scolded me again. <laughs> ah, youth. Huh? Julie! How long have you been there? And Ronan, why'd you run into me out of nowhere? You didn't feel well last time and I couldn't meet with you. 
I was really worried. Big sister. You truly are just a child. The mature Ronin I met yesterday must have only been a hallucination. Grandma, where should I put the replacement for your wheat flour I dropped yesterday? Put it in the corner of the kitchen, please. Ugh. Are you out of anything else? But no matter how long I look at him, that face is still the derpy little ronin that looks like a puppy. But it's still the same as that one really cool guy. Speaking of which, there's a new ingredient at the stock shop. I wonder if it can be used in bread. It's kinda like a fruit? Stare. <laughs> Why are you staring like that, pilot? Oh god! Boo. Ah, don't start talking into my ear! Haven't you been staring at him for a while? Are you interested in him now? Huh? No! It's just your imagination! By the way, Ronan, about the new ingredient you mentioned. Yeah? Make him bring you there. Yes, make him bring you there. Force him to bring you there. I don't know what it is if I don't see it myself. Will I? Uh, I, I guess. Stare! Pilot Death Stare! No, 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 no! Not the Death Stare! I didn't think so. Well, never mind. But can you come with me for a bit? Huh? I'm going shopping since I haven't been in a while. Carry my bags, please. Today? No, 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 I can't. I, I have something to do. After this, gotta go. Does he have to reject me so hard? Oh, she's asking him out. Hmm, very suspicious. Keep staring at him. Grab his clothes and stare at him closer. Oh my god, we've got to make this as uncomfortable as possible. Grab his clothes and stare at him harder. Pilot Death Stare! No! Death Stare! No, what is it? You've been acting weird. Pilot, why are you staring at me? Show me the ingredients. I want those plans. Stop it. Why did it get so cold? Man, oh man, it's just so damn hot in here with that ninja death stare. <laughs> Are you messing with the cool girl again, Julie? I felt bad for Ronan. Besides, you don't have to push him that far, do you? Eh, it's more fun that way. The more you push him, the more he might run away from you. Good, then we can chase him. You're the last person I want advice from. A anyway... I've got some business to take care of, so bye! Wait right there! Hey, don't run away from me! I tried to chase him, but... Ow! You skipped out yesterday, and you're trying to do the same today? I'll have you work double time! Okay. Sorry, Grandma, but I need to chase him. I'm going upstairs for a minute. Oh, no, you're not! She ran off. You look like you're free to help me. Huh? What? Uh... <laughs> you can tell where she gets the ninja death stare from. <laughs> Alright. Transform! Smiggled a little bit of pepper she brought in secret. Achoo! Doodle <laughs> Cat girl mode achieved! Looked at my hands. Oh my god, I'm a vampire! Wait, if she's a vampire, how can she go out in the sun? Okay, let's go through the window. Out the window. Out the window. 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 Now, where is Ronan? Hmm? The smell. It smells like Ronan! Huh, 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 this is bad. I might be late. Hmm? Ah! I knew it was you, Ronin. I can smell better in this form. Now I can be sure that he's the same as the mature Ronin. You! Won't you get bored of falling on me every day? <laughs> no. By the way... Uh... What the heck were you wearing? Are you supposed to be in the city guard? Crap. Is it a cosplay? Why would I be cosplaying as a city guard? Uh, 
I don't want you to see me like this. I want to look cool for you. Why? You look cute. You, you, come here. Hmm? He brought me to a place with no one around. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. What is it? Stranger danger. You're a good girl, so look over there for me. Stranger danger reaching maximum level. Huh? Look over where? I'm going to change. No peeking. Stranger danger. Off the charts. What? He put his belongings down and started taking off his clothes one by one. No! Too soon! What the hell is he thinking? How dare he strip it off in front of me? In front of a pure innocent little girl like me? He... <laughs> I couldn't see him like that, so I covered my eyes. Hmm. Watch him boldly. Watch him boldly! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Th th this... Ow, god damn. Is there like a quick save button? I don't see it. Okay. Watch him boldly. Nope, 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 nope. Wait a minute. Hey, wait. I can't, why can't I see him? Oh god. I moved my hands from my eyes and stared at him. Da! Ah, didn't I tell you not to peek at me? <laughs> okay, let's see what the other one is. Take a peek. No, 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 I'm not supposed to peek. But I've still got a peek. It's the exact same thing. Whoa, when did he get so muscular? Well, I don't know, he's lifting heavy stacks of flour all day. Maybe that has something to do with it. I can see his stomach. So I knew he wasn't fat. You're peeking. I am not. I didn't see anything. Why are you so red then? You're looking through your fingers. No, I'm not. Whatever. But are you going to watch me change my pants too? No. Ugh. I turned my back to him without thinking any longer. Hurry up and change. No. So you don't want to see? I can't believe him. He shouldn't be capable of this. <laughs> hey. What? I'm done. And now I'm cool looking again. Oh yeah. <laughs> he grabbed my shoulder and turned me back around. I'm finished. Did I disappoint you? You even changed your hairstyle. It looks like a disguise. Well, you're not completely wrong. Why does he need to hide it so badly? Anyway, I forgot to tell you, but you shouldn't walk around like that. Huh? Why not? Haven't you heard? Lately, there's been a group of people who are trying to expel Lucretias from the city. It's dangerous. They're made of elm trees. <laughs> Is that what the ladies at the bakery before were talking about? But there's no rules against Lucretius staying in the city. Yeah, but still. So it's no problem. Or are you saying that you don't think you can protect me? That, that, that's not what I meant. Then it should be fine. I'm not scared if I have a city guard beside me. <sighs> it's not my fault if something happens. Yes, it is. You're a city guard. <laughs> he finally gave up. Let's go! Another scene change. The city I used to know, the scenery I saw every day. Something's different. It's like I'm smaller now. I see. I'm smaller now, so everything looks different. And my sense of smell is so much sharper. I can hear sounds better and farther away as well. Stop checking everything out. Why? Do you have something to hide? I'm not doing anything wrong. I get the feeling that I'm being watched. Hey, isn't that one of those cat people? Shh, shh, your voice is too loud. What do you do if she hears you? 
She might claw your face off. It's like what everyone says. A human, but a cat. How pitiful. Hmm. Hmm? What's wrong? Look at him. Look at him! I wonder if he is also disgusted by me. Look at him! It's nothing, Jan. Tell me if you have something to say. It's not good to hold things back. Ronin, how does he feel towards me as Katie, the little cat girl? Duh. You're a freaking cat girl. What do you think he thinks about you? I didn't think about it much before, but that is what people normally think of us. The customers have always treated me well at the shop, yet once I transform... Why are you so quiet? Aren't you scared of me? Hmm? How are you scary? You're a cute little cat girl. Everyone looks at me with fear in their eyes. Are you different? Don't think too much of it. They're just idiots. <laughs> Still, to be scared of you, with that appearance? <laughs> you tried to hold it as laughter. How rude! You don't understand a woman's heart. Humph! Yeah. Someone pulled my tail. I found a cat monster! What are you doing? I'm exterminating the monster. Now I punch good in the face. Hey, don't do that. You're being mean to her. Don't let me don't make me punch you in the face. Because I gotta protect her. You're so odd, mister. How can a monster be a her? I will rid us of this demon. Kill, kill, kill. Yeah. Someone else threw trash at me. Stop it! We don't want those things to bring bad luck to our city. She's not a black cat, moron. Exactly, moron number two. The people surrounded us in no time. Aren't you a city guard? He's supposed to protect our well-being. Hold on, all of you. I gotta go get a chainsaw to kill all of you monsters. <laughs> Am I something that might disrupt the peace of the city? No. The flash drew straight over to me and hit me in the face. Ugh, shame on you, Thundercat. End of chapter one. Well, that's a good place to stop. Oh my god. The bar completely changed color already. That's what she's wearing? So these bars completely went out of control. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, I think you have a good idea for the general concept of this game by now. Keep in mind, it is kind of a short game overall, so I can't go that far into it. But if you want more, don't forget, as always... Comment on this video only, like this video specifically, so on and so forth. Don't go spamming my other things, they don't go tell me on Twitter and stuff like that. Tell me on this video so it makes it easier for me to tally. If you put it on other videos, I might ignore it or delete it completely. Capiche? This video specifically, not the other ones. If you like the other ones, Tell me about those other ones on those specific videos. This game, this video, capiche? Capiche? Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget my Twitter is in the description. Good day and good clicking.